Maya here and I am back with another video <laughs> okay so as you all could tell from the title today I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me for my departure from New York to Casablanca Morocco and so if you guys want to see more about like what's what I'm doing how I'm preparing what the airport is like around this time of year all that good stuff Stay tuned to the very end. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that bell to stay updated with all of my future uploads. And don't forget to follow my socials, which will be in the description box down below, and I'll also put it on the screen for you all. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. It is currently 3.35, and I'm supposed to be leaving around maybe about 4, and I'm going to arrive to JFK Airport around 4. 4 15 so my flight is going to be departing around uh, 8 30 and so i'm going to be arriving four hours early because i'm going to be traveling with a study abroad program so that's a little bit of background for you guys about what's happening the flight to morocco should be about seven hours maybe well, i'm really excited i can't wait to bring you guys along quick fit check so i got this shirt on from the program it's just a blue shirt like it's nothing special y'all then i got these gray biker shorts and then i have my white air forces so it's, it's simple fit just something comfortable for the flight other than that i did all of my preparing throughout the week so I did my hair, I did my eyebrows, I did my nails, I also got my toes done. And so, I was gonna do a whole video on that, y'all. I swear, I was gonna do a whole video on that. But you see, what happened was, I don't know why I didn't do the video, I have no excuse. But like, <laughs> that's just like, like a little update of what preparing was like, because I kinda did everything within like a two day span. Um, like in terms of like hair and nails and all that stuff. But packing has been going on for about two to three weeks so I feel pretty prepared in terms of packing this is gonna be my first time traveling alone yet I'm just gonna be staying with a host family so it's gonna be like it's gonna be a whole new experience for me um and yeah I'm gonna be with other people from the program I'm gonna try to get you guys as much foot as, as foot, 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 girl what <laughs> I'm gonna try to get you guys as much footage as possible in the airport and I'm gonna have to put you guys away for like TSA and all the extra stuff but I'll try to give you guys a glimpse of everything i'm really excited to bring you guys along and the last thing you'll probably see in this video is when i'm actually in morocco so make sure you stay tuned to see what all of this is like i'll keep you guys updated with everything that's going on but right now i'm gonna do a last check of everything make sure that everything's packed because i cannot forget anything especially because i'm gonna be traveling internationally and um i'm traveling alone so i have to make sure i have all of my documents like literally insurance vaccination card passport parent consent forms all that stuff so i'll see you guys soon and i'm talking because i talk too much i could talk to y'all all day about this so let's get going y'all okay guys so right now um i'm in the car and we're about 20 minutes not even probably like 15 minutes eight from, minutes eight minutes from the airport and so a lot of people from the program are already there hopefully the airport's not too packed when i get there and um we can just get straight to the what is it called the terminal or is it the gate it's the gate the terminal. The terminal. I knew that. <laughs> okay, so I'll see you guys once I arrive to the airport. Okay, we just got to JFK. Oh, my, my baby on her way to Morocco for three weeks. Yes. I'm so ready. Sort of. <laughs> You're not ready. You're scared out of your mind. I really am. <laughs> my baby's leaving for Morocco. Where is the, the place? Is yeah. it here? She struggled. The struggle is real. <laughs> Do we have to go upstairs? She said um they well, they said the second floor, but I think the check-in is um first. Yeah. We're at the airport and uh we're going we're going to terminal one. I don't know if we're gonna be upstairs or downstairs. Apparently the Royal Air Maroc desk is closed. So we have to go to like another um oh my gosh, brain fart. We have to go to like another desk um to check in and stuff apparently it's also really packed inside so we're gonna be in the check-in line for quite a while usually at jfk it's always packed for some reason like <laughs> you have to arrive early or you're gonna miss your flight like that's what jfk is usually like but i'm ready guys i'm so ready i'm really excited i'm also really nervous but this is gonna be really fun i'll show you guys what it looks like once we get inside we're almost there i think 
and it's probably gonna be really packed. So I'll see you guys inside. And I also have to put on a mask. Later. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do? If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world But I ain't seen myself another girl Like you This ring here represents my heart there's just one thing I need from you Say I do Because I can see us holding hands Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand I can see us on the countryside Sitting on the grassland side by side You could be my baby Let me make you my lady Girl, you amaze me Ain't gotta do nothing crazy See all my That I don't want you here It's something about the way you stare into my eyes I know that I don't make things clear I fall for you every time I try to resist We can get away I'm just beach feel feeling every day All I wanna hear is an every since that we play Staring next to you Sorry if the quality isn't as good as it was in the previous clips. I'm recording on my phone right now because my camera literally just died. And so I'm kind of just working with this. It's so efficient, guys. I wanted to come in at this point in the video because I haven't really been doing a lot of talking and vlogging um, in this video. So I kind of want to come in right here and like explain what's happening, where we are, and yeah, you get the point. <laughs> so we literally just landed in Casablanca, Morocco. <laughs> and as you guys could tell, the climate, the whole environment is pretty dusty. Um, there was no clear skies. And to be honest, I thought all of Morocco was going to be like this. I kind of expected it to be like a desert and, you know, a lot of dust and it being like scorching hot. But Morocco really surprised me. <laughs> um, clearly, I did not do a lot of research before going to Morocco. So all of this was pretty much a new experience to me. So as we were driving through Casablanca, um, you could definitely see a shift in the environment. Like it went from very much like desert type land, a lot of um, dirt and cacti and everything. And then it went to like a totally different environment. It was like city, like a city life. And at this point, we left Casablanca airport and we're traveling to Rabat, the old Medina. And old Medina basically just means the old city. Um, and so Casablanca overall is a huge city um, and it's very common for a lot of people in smaller towns in Morocco to travel to Casablanca for work and then get, bring back their money. I can talk to you guys all day about this. Basically Casablanca is like one of the main cities and it's super huge and it's definitely a tourist area. But we did not stay in Casablanca for this trip. We stayed in Rabat in the old city. So like. I'll insert a little clip of like what it looks like in my area along my strips and then the old Medina basically has a bunch of shops like the Medina is like this huge shopping area you can get food they have hanouts which are basically in like my terms like corner stores um, and they had like um, places to shop for traditional dresses uh, literally they had everything you could ever want or like need right there on that same day is when we went our host families so in my host family i had my host mom my two host sisters sophia and siham and then i had my host nephew mj and literally um they were the sweetest people ever um i met them the afternoon and um the next clip you guys will be seeing will be me in my homestay i'll give you guys like a little glimpse of what my bedroom in my homestay looks like and then that night they prepared chicken tagine. Um, tagine is basically what the food is placed in. So it's like this triangle. I'll kind of like put it on the screen here, but it's like this triangle sort of like shaped bowl that 
the dish goes in. That night, my host family actually took me out to the Casaba. Don't get confused. Casablanca is the city. Casaba is totally something different. So it's Casablanca, which is the city in Morocco, and then it's the Casaba. And the Casaba is basically this um, castle-like structure and you can walk through it and there's like a bunch of shops and things of that nature. But there's some stairs and it takes you to the top and you go to this beautiful overlook. And it basically gives you the overlook of the beaches there. And then it also gives you a, a beautiful sight of Saleh, which is another city in Morocco that I visited. Um, so basically comment down below or maybe I will do this, but I'm thinking about putting together a YouTube video of each city I went to in Morocco. So the cities I went to was Casablanca, I went to Rabat, I went to Saleh, I went to Chefchaouen, and then I went to Marrakesh. And so if you guys want to see like any of those cities and like my experiences and what I did there, let me know. I didn't do a lot of vlog content, so it'll be very similar to what I'm doing now, like talking and then putting in pictures and videos, but I'll be very excited to show you guys that. But basically this overlook showed us Saleh, like all of Saleh, and it was, so beautiful. Green peas, if I remember correctly, potatoes. There was like a curry chicken, um, and they had like watermelon, and basically they had um, bread. They had like a whole dinner prepared. around the city we um it was very lit up that night definitely reminded me of home in new york with you know manhattan and all the lights shining but um it was very beautiful we got like cotton candy and <laughs> we did a bunch of like fun and exciting things that night so it was definitely an experience to remember this has been amazing the food has been amazing the family has been amazing morocco is amazing <laughs> so i'm definitely excited to learn more about morocco yeah i hope that you all like enjoy this video and that you guys are looking forward to like the upcoming videos from morocco because i'm definitely looking forward to bring you guys all that content but thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you all enjoyed don't forget to subscribe like and hit that bell for more content and to watch all of my future uploads um other than that don't forget to follow my social medias which will be in the description box down below but i'll also put it on the screen for you all to view and i just want to send a huge thank you to you all for watching this video if you made it this far and other than that i hope to see you guys in the future much love Till next